In the last election, the Liberals campaigned on a promise to reduce taxes for the middle class and support those working hard to enter the middle class. Canadians took them at their word. And like most Canadians, I agree with my NDP caucus that benefits, uh, additional benefits should be targeted at the middle class and those who need it most. The problem with this bill, Mr. Speaker, is the Liberal definition of middle class seems to have been created by the Donald Trumps of the world. Surely only the very rich would devise a bill that gives most of the tax benefits to those making around $200,000 a year, while offering Canadians who make $40,000 a year nothing at all, and still call it a tax cut for the middle class. One, the median income in Canada is $31,000. As we know, under the Liberal plan, any Canadian making the median income or near it will receive zero benefit from this bill. So maybe I'll just talk, I'll, I'll look a little bit at my writing of Courtney Alberni. In Alberni Valley, where in the 50s and the 60s it was a booming community, highest median income in the country, they were sending lots of money to, uh, to Ottawa. Most recently, they just got rejected for a Build Canada grant to, uh, for their airport so that they, they could have scheduled air service. And uh, the re reason they got rejected was because they didn't have scheduled air service. So the people in Alberni Valley feel like they're being betrayed by Ottawa. They've got a, a median income of $25,000 a year. One in three children are living in poverty. They want to move forward. They need help. They've been promised that the Liberal government's going to help the middle class. And uh, when I look at the median income of Aboriginal people across Canada and in this bill, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, include them. And again, they feel forgotten. Seniors feel forgotten. Um, inequality is at an all-time high. And this, again, this bill does not address this. The New Chalmers people use a, a word uh, in their language called uatluk. And uatluk means taking care of. And they use that in reference to their fishery, a court case that they're in right now to uh, defend their right to catch and sell fish has been in the courts for over 10 years. They feel, again, Ottawa has betrayed them on their recognizing their Aboriginal rights and title. They want to take care of the resource. They want to work with Canadians so we can take care of each other. This bill, again, forgets to take care of the people in my riding. Uh, people in my riding, again, people in the Alberni Valley, Comox Valley, Oceanside, and Abor Aboriginal people across this country are feeling left out. Uh, who, who will see the biggest benefits from the definition of middle class? As I said it clearly, it, it isn't the majority of people in my riding, but those who make as much as members of parliament here who make over $160,000 a year will see their taxes lowered by almost $700, while nearly 60% of Canadians get nothing at all. This is not fair, and the NDP opposes those measures. So how do we fix this? Instead of targeting the second bracket, as the Liberals have done, the NDP has proposed lowering the first tax bracket. How will this help? The tax brackets are in layers. Canadians who earn enough to enter the second and third tax bracket are still taxed on the first layer. So, to focus the benefit on the middle class, you must begin the tax, bracket, uh, tax break on the first layer rather than the second, which skews the, the benefits disproportionately to the top earners. The NDP, NDP plan would reduce the first tax bracket from 15 to 14 percent. This gives the largest benefit to those making $45,000 rather than $200,000 under the Liberal plan. Because the NDP plan actually focuses on the middle class, 83 percent of taxpayers would benefit from our proposed idea. I was elected to hold this government to account and work with them wherever possible to bring much needed relief to those struggling in my, my riding. And as the Nichalna people say, let's use Uatluk, let's take care of each other. And please, I hope you'll consider that in this bill in making this amendment.